Welcome back to the Big Water Hook and Cook or something. We don't even have a name for this thing because it's just so by the seat of our pants. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't know what to call it anyway. And you just basically have already told me before we even got started that you're lucky to have me here. I'm lucky to have you or both. I'm just, I, I just feel that I'm lucky to, this the only, I don't get to spend any time with you in the boat. So if this is, this is close enough. That's, that's, I mean, I'm still one step below Country Steve, but I mean, four steps. Okay. Hey, anyhow, good to see everybody. I'm glad you're here to watch this new video. We're going to, we're going to cook frittatas today. If anybody knows what a frittata is. Frittata is a, uh, is a term, uh, it started in Italy. Uh, the other name for it is friggere, which means fried. Frittata is basically a, a crustless, crustless uh, quiche. I mean, you know, you do a quiche, everybody knows what a quiche is. A quiche has a crust. Frittata does not have a crust. It's cooked in a skillet, finished in the oven. Uh, it's basically a open face omelet. I'm already learning. Okay, uh, uh, so frittata is an open face omelet. Okay. The only difference that, that this is from the omelet is going to be thicker. You would fold an omelet, you would cook the egg, add the ingredients, fold it over and serve an omelet. This we're going to cook the ingredients, add the eggs to, let it, let it cook on the stove a little bit and we're going to finish it in the oven. And in Italy, when they, the way they started these is if the, the families there had extra vegetables or meat, you know, they wanted to clean out their fridge, they'd throw it in a skillet. There's always eggs available. Whip up some eggs, throw it in there, bake it off, dinner. You can eat them for breakfast, lunch, or supper. This is like the History Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like well, it. Know, I like to give a little, we've got to give a little history of it, you know. I like it. I'm we don't, eat. We don't want these big, strong fishermen standing at home saying, I'm making a quiche, you know, no. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that word is kind Frittata's of... Frittata's more, frittata's more bold, more manly. You know? We're on the same page. Yeah, okay, I'm good. I got you. What's the first step? First thing we're going to do, we're going to take a Teflon skillet, like this one, okay? We're going to put some butter in it. I'm going to fire the stove up here. We're going to put some butter in it. You can use butter, a little olive oil. You know, I like to use butter. If they've watched some of your other stuff, I've been educated to what compound butter is. <laughs> Okay. And I know I like it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I, know you, I know you like it. Um, you start with your hard your hard stuff, like we're going to put, we're going to, in this frittata, we're going to put potatoes, onions, red bell peppers, little celery, little green onion, little spinach, little Guerrero cheese It's going to go in it, and of course the walleye. It's going to be a blast. Nice. You just got to wait for the butter to melt. Then what we're also going to do is, this is going to be blackened, so we're going to, we're gonna actually, we're gonna actually pan fry these walleye first, because we don't want to cook them in the same skillet with all of the, all of our vegetables. Okay. Hey actually, you know, I talk about Hellman's mayonnaise, but actually, we're gonna use some of Tony Satcher's Creole seasoning for the blackened. Okay. So we're just gonna put a light, light toasting on there. Okay. We're actually going to use this skillet for the frittata, but I want to cook the fish first so we don't we don't wait for the skillet. You know, we'll get two of them going here. Efficiency. Huh? Efficiency. Efficiency. If I had a bigger stove, we keep doing all these shows. See, I could use this as an excuse to build a bigger kitchen. Right? Is the boss going to approve that? Well, we got to ask her. We got to ask her. So we're basically going to use. About a half a cup of diced potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna throw those in there. We're gonna use about a half a cup of onion. I like the onion. You like onion? I was gonna put mushrooms in here, but I know oh. you don't. I know you don't like Ooh. mushrooms. But somebody could. Well, somebody could eat it. There's always lots of things yeah. you can throw. Like you said, think of this as, as a man's omelet. About a half of uh, red bell pepper. About a half of celery. And okay. when you're doing this half a cup on all this stuff, that mm -hmm. is approximately to feed two to three people, three to four. Uh, this this key this this thing will this thing will feed you know it'll feed three people. Um, they give you rate you know there's a ratio like a half a cup like if you if you're doing a, an eight egg frittata you want to have basically two cups of meat or vegetables or two and a half three we're going to give it a little bit more but. We're going to season these with a little salt and black pepper, okay? Okay, we got our veg going here for the frittata. 
we're going to start our we're going to start cooking our fish our blackened fish right what do we use it's not Matt Hellman's mayonnaise I know no that. we didn't use no mayonnaise <laughs> So we I'm, use Tony Cha Cha Checkers or Chachos or whoever you. I can't keep track of all your favorites there. So we're you're at about four. Watch this. Here's the hand, hand, hand. Oh, no, here hand. No oh, hand. That didn't work. So <laughs> that didn't work. That didn't work like you thought it was. He, he was he was uh, he was over there somewhere. So four hundred is what you've got that set at. I got the oven set at four hundred. Okay. Okay. So you're this is this is just like fishing. You got multiple stuff going on here because you can just boom, boom, be done. Multiple, multiple, multiple. Get our potatoes going there, nice and get them nice and soft. Get the get the onions. We're going to caramelize the onions. Get the fish going. We're going to put a little parsley in here. Okay. After we now, as this goes, we're going to wilt some spinach. That'll go in the frittata tata. Mmm. This is gonna be lunch. Smell that. Smell. Remember, you can eat it when? Anytime you want. Breakfast, lunch, supper. Right. Okay, we're gonna make sure this fish is, gets there. We wanna slow that down just a little bit. I want a little bit more spinach in there. Also, just, let's just put about a tablespoon of garlic in there. Oh, yes. You like garlic. I didn't bring any dill this, this time. I got some chives, too. I love the dill. A little handful of chives. That almost looks like it'll be good to eat. Okay, while well, our... While our fish is finishing up and our and our uh, our veg is pretty pretty much to where we need it, we're gonna get our eggs ready. Okay, I have 12 eggs in here. It's probably gonna be a little bit too much for that skillet I'm using, but we're gonna use 12, and then we're gonna use about a we're gonna use almost a half a cup of cream. Okay, heavy cream. Okay, and you don't want to use milk. Uh, you can use milk if you want. Cream What's the heavy cream do that the milk doesn't? Uh, it's, it just adds a little fluffiness to it, a little creaminess to it. Okay. So when you do this at this point, though, don't go crazy whipping these eggs. We want to whip them. Whip it real good? Not real, real good, okay. but we want to whip it. Because if you, I mean, we want to make sure the yolks are broke up. Because if you, if you whip it too good... It'll get too much air in it, and it'll be too fluffy. And then when you pull it out of the out of the oven, it'll be it'll be fluffy, but then it'll go bloop. It'll just kind of fall down. So we want to whip it to bloop. Yeah, we want to like fishing almost type terms. Yeah, I'm we want to whip it to make it. Because normally we whip it whip it real good. Yeah, usually you do, but not not all the time. You don't. Sometimes you don't. I understand. We're gonna take our we're gonna take our wall out, and we're gonna have the hand wash that skillet for us. Because we want to put this back in a clean skillet. So while he's doing that, the hand. So then we're just going to break the walleye up and put it in here. Okay. I'm going to put it in there. Break it up a little. Oh, that's pretty. It's 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 a little spicy, you know. Yeah. Since we blackened it. <laughs> A little spicy, Ross. A little too much spice for this kid. <laughs> now we got our fish incorporated into the vegetable. So we got a clean skillet to start. I'm going to put a little butter in there, okay? Then I'm going to put these ingredients back in here, okay? And then add the egg to it. And then wiggle it around a little bit and let it cook for a little bit. And then, bloop, into the oven. Now we're going to take our egg. We're going to, we're going to put our egg in there to cover this. Worked out pretty good. There's one that wasn't broke. It needed to get whipped a little more. Whip, whip, good. <clears throat> whip it good. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna let it cook for a few minutes. So now we're gonna add cheese to our frittata. Okay? Ah, oh, look at that. 
So how much cheese are you putting in there? Just I'm gonna the put up about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Just kind of covering the top up. Yeah, but we're gonna mix it in there a little bit. Okay. okay. Get her down in there. We're gonna do what? What? What else do we always do, Mr. Rossi? Rossi, we season. You do a lot of seasoning, yeah. A little cracked black pepper. See the way to the way we're gonna the way that we're gonna gauge that this is ready to go into the to the uh, oven is we're gonna watch the edges here. See these edges? How they're starting to starting to firm up a little bit. A little salt. So we're just gonna go like this. Make sure that thing's starting to set real nice. It'll give it a nice brown color that way too, you know. You're just trying What's to get the eggs together a little bit so you can bake it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let it form there. Then you're gonna then we're gonna start our oven at about four hundred degrees. Okay. Oh yeah, let that start a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to firm up there, so. You see, you're getting kind of excited over there, aren't you? Huh? You're getting a little excited over there. Yeah, this is gonna be. What's it gonna be? Real, Real good. good. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty good with this. We're gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna pop it in an oven at about 400 degrees. Make sure if you're using it. Excuse me, man, that Tony got me. Make sure if you're using a skillet that the little rubber that the little rubber uh, handle's not on there. It's not real good to put it in. I, I, I was just thinking that. I'm so like, we pulled the little rubber handles off okay. to make sure that they don't melt and all that good stuff. You're probably going to have 10 to 15 minutes or so in the oven, so um, uh, until it's done. And what what we're going to do? We're going to check it periodically, and as it's got as when it gets just a little jiggle in it, like jiggle, do that one that you do. No, I got. I, it's got that little. I'm not a puppet. It's got. <laughs> it's got that little jiggle in there. Then we want. I think you'd be better in the jiggle department. I gotta be honest. We got that little jiggle in there. <laughs> then we're gonna bring it out and we're gonna let it set up a little bit, and then we're gonna do the plate flip on it. And hopefully, when we do the plate flip, it just don't go poosh, go everywhere. So. We want to make sure it's done. So this one, just from one of gathering, because we both know mm -hmm. I'm better efficient than I'm cooking. Yeah. We're like by a lot. Yeah. So this takes a little That's bit That's okay though. This, this takes a little bit longer, maybe a little more skill than some of the other stuff we've done, but it's probably, this is something you could warm up and keep as good or better than anything. Oh yeah. And, and <coughs> excuse me, it's really not that, you know, you're, you're making an omelet and you're just not folding it over, you know? So if you want to, if you want to do what, whatever fillings you want to do in there, I mean, whatever you can use. I mean, you know, people, not Cajun. Yeah, not Cajun. I'm, we wanted to spice it up a little bit, but you, you'll taste it. It'll still be good. It's got we, the we cheese didn't. in it. Well, I did. Yeah, oh, okay. I did. But I didn't put any mushrooms in there. So as Thank soon you. as this thing comes out, it's, we'll, it's, a, it's a compromise. Yeah, yeah. As soon as this thing comes out, we'll we'll check it out. Okay, we're back. We're gonna uh, we're gonna check on our frittata here and pull it out of the oven. It's been in there probably 15, 20 minutes. That's a beautiful thing right there. You just want the eggs kind of firmed up, is that what you're Yeah, they want, to, they want to be, see how it's like not jiggly anymore? It's, it's kind of... Could you jiggle that? That too, okay. See how the whole thing's kind of jiggling? So that's a good sign. So we're going to let it sit here. Okay, we, we took this out of the oven and we, you, you kind of just kind of tilt the pan a little, little bit and look down there and make sure there isn't any excess butter or any, anything coming out of there before we do the flip thing. And that's after letting it sit for yeah, five to ten let, minutes. Yeah, letting it sit a little bit. And uh, we made this one with, uh, we put that creole on the fish. You can, you don't have to do that. This one will be a little more, a uh, little more spicy southern type thing, you know. I don't like it real spicy myself. Come I like, on, red, yeah. I like red hot, but I don't like that. Really? That Cajun season. I thought season. was a spicy guy. So then you take a plate, okay, just like this. I mean, you could, you could go in there right now and cut into it and pull it out of there, like buy a piece like a pie. Um, I want to see what this one looks like. This is like an upside down this pineapple is like an upside, cake, but no pineapple. This is like an upside down deal. You got to be careful, or you know, it could slip away from you. So you're going to put the you're going to put the plate on there, and then we're going to flip it over. Now, what do you think? You think it's going to come out? I feel like it's like a hook set. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, little, hey, does, there's another little jiggle getting on that plate. It doesn't get much prettier than that. 
you can serve this you can serve this cold too you know it doesn't have to be hot you know. warm up leftovers on this yeah. kind of like a walleye pizza yeah walleye pizza so then you're just gonna take a take a piece of it look at that mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll finish it with a little uh, little parsley a little parsley like that but see how that I mean that that's you can see the egg and everything it's just a it's just a crustless quiche no crust. Then you get a fork. And uh, Let, let's see if you, uh, you're happy with the finished product. I'm going to. It's still hot. Pretty hot. Good hot? Good hot. Warm hot. I'll, t I'll taste it though. <laughs> I know you're gonna, you know, you know, eat a lot of spicy stuff, but it, it, we'll see how spicy it is. That's the part of all these things. You just back the stuff you know you mm. like in or out of. You're just adding some walleyes and a little bit different way of putting her together. I would have backed out the... The Creole. The Creole a little bit. you probably going to put hot sauce on top of this. You can do that. I know you will. But you know what? Now, a lot of that, a lot of that spice is gone with everything else in there. I mean, I still have a little hint of it, which it's, it's not real hot to me. But like I said, I like spicy stuff. You said that was going to happen when you put the eggs in. It's pretty good. It's real, real good. good. <laughs> That's our frittata. That's today's uh, breakfast. episode. Breakfast. Lunch. I'm, that thing's going to be dinner. lunch and dinner. It's going to be everything. It came out real good. And you know, it's not real hard to do. If you can saute some vegetables, throw some fish in there. Put the eggs in there. Real easy recipe. I mean, there's a couple Good extra stuff. steps, but it's nothing really different. Yeah, and you know what? I'm, I'm not getting a lot of that spice now, so spice it, unspice it, make it as hot as you want. It's good on a cold day. It's good at, good on a uh, on a warm day. Just warm let it cool. Up. It'll stay in the refrigerator for, you know, three or four days. Eat it cold. Take like it in your lunch. Take it on the boat. I like that. Do whatever. There's another one. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter where you get a lot of preemptive stuff and seeing all the kind of good stuff. Check us out, Big Water Fishing, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and just about anywhere. Google it, Big Water Fishing. <laughs>